Okay, I got my memory card stuff inserted to my laptop, so I've got more storage. But anyways, I ran to Walmart. I got, Willie wanted some more cereal, so I got some. I always just get random kinds when I go. I got some Fruity Pebbles, and then I've got, these are really good. They're like little balls. Oh, they're Cinnamon Toast Crunch Minis. Um, and then I got some Alani New. I really thought about this. Um, I was laying in bed the other night, and I'm like, I have got to, like, kick this stuff, actually. Or not, not even, like, completely kick it, but really, really cut back on them. I can't be drinking that every single day. It is so bad on my heart, I'm sure. So I am going to, like... Be a little more effective but i also did walmart has really cute pants let me just show you guys okay so i got these so i'm gonna try them on and then see if i need to return them which shoot i don't know where the receipt is i'll have to find that um and then i did get a new microwave our stick of crap so i just got this i'm gonna have to set that up that's our other one and i literally just cleaned out the inside of this <laughs> like literally yesterday so whatever um, so we got that. Um, oh, I want to show you what else I got. I don't want Blaine to see though. So these are like 50 freaking dollars at Walmart, but there's someone on Facebook selling it for $10. Still new in the pack. So I got this. This is going to be a Christmas present for Blaine. Because he, he eyes up. Whenever we go to Walmart, he always wears it. So I'm gonna hide I got to take that in the basement when he... Is not looking so it's just me ace Blaine. are you hungry you want to go get a snack and addy addy blaine calls her addy but it's addy <laughs> um yeah oh, okay so what happened today is so when killian got picked up yesterday or he was getting picked up it was a half day yesterday for him and his dad showed up to pick him up, which I wasn't really sure why. Um, usually the, his mom is always the one to pick him up. His dad only picked him up like one day when he had a rain day. But when his dad got here, he said that she had fallen and slipped and hit her head. And she was really banged up, I guess. Um, so I was like, oh, wow, well, like, you know, I'm so sorry to hear. Just a second. So... And then um, this morning, so I got, so he comes at 6.15, so I got up at 5.30, got ready, was waiting for him, and he, it was like, it was like 6.30, and I'm like, hmm, I wonder where he is, and I, like, I was kind of getting worried, because I knew she had fallen and slipped and hit her head, and I didn't know what time the dad goes to work, so I didn't know if, like, he had got up and left, and I, I was just worried that if she was at home, and Killian was in his crib, and she didn't wake up, God forbid, um, that he was there alone, kind of, so I was really starting to get worried, and then finally, like an hour after she was supposed to be here, I did call her, and she said she was actually in the hospital, and they went last night, and she got admitted, and she has, she has a skull fracture, so, ooh, it's, um, yeah, so then she, but it's, it sounded like, it was a little confusing. It sounded like maybe she was under the impression that his dad was bringing him here. She seemed a little confused Killing wasn't here. And I don't know. So I don't really know. It's still going off I'm babysitting today. I'm, it's 1030 though now. So I'm going to assume I'm not babysitting. And, oops, they're slipping down. So I'm going to assume that I'm not babysitting. No, no. And I don't know if I'm tomorrow or not. Uh, I'm not baby. Addie's actually today. She's only here till probably like noon, one o'clock. Um, so we'll see. I don't really know what's going on. Um, I just I I hope everything's okay. Like when I was on the phone, that she's waiting on the neurosurgeon, which I thought was so scary. Um, so good thing she did go to the hospital. Um, so yeah. Just a lot going on today, and then I was like, when I did get home from the store, I'm like, oh my gosh, I got so much to do. I still have to finish editing my YouTube video. I have to, I did want to take down my, like, Halloween decorations, just leave up, like, the fall stuff. 
but we'll see what I can get done. Are you getting tired? Um, we'll see what I can get done, and I don't know, I just, I gotta get some stuff done. Um, it's just been a weird day. It's been a really weird day. So, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead, try to get my YouTube video finished, and... Well, I gotta get that microwave set up too. I think I actually, now that I think about it, I think there's something in the microwave that I didn't take out, so. <gasps> we gotta take that out! We gotta take that out, little girl. Okay, so I actually did not get anything done in that little bit of time. Or it's been about an hour since I last put up the vlog, but um, I forgot I wanted to start a crock pot, crock mot, <laughs> crock pot dinner. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get that going here real quick. I have some chicken that I was thawing last night. It's a Mississippi chicken pot roast. Chicken roast or whatever. So I'm just going to get the chicken in here really quick and turn it on high. Cause, so it cooks on low for six to seven hours or high for four to five. And right now it's 1130. So I'll probably cook it on high for like the first hour and then do it on low. I don't know what this is. Um, I did get the microwave set up so you guys can see. Um, it's smaller, which I do like. So we've got, a, I feel like we definitely have a lot more space there, I think. <laughs> Blaine just had a Lunchable. All done? Was that Nami? Oh, you ate it all. Good job, bud. I still have to do these dishes. So I'm going to go ahead. What? Yeah. <laughs> Look at that bruise on his cheek. He fell and hit his face on my computer chair. Like the metal part. Okay, so yeah, in that time, like, Addie was, like, coughing a lot. So I'm like, oh my gosh. And she has asthma, so I was like, oh, I wanted to... I did a breathing treatment quick. I um, had my sister run over her machine. So we could do that. So, okay. I just want to get this started. So at least it's on right now. So that'll count as the cook time as well. Okay, let's see. Oh, I was supposed to spray the bottom. It doesn't really look like it gets much of a liquid. So I'm going to spray the bottom so it doesn't stick. It's kind of all frozen together anyways. And then the onion, diced up onion goes below the chicken. I don't think it honestly matters. So I'm just going to throw that in there. And... I'm going to have to dice up an onion, and then I need a packet of au jus gravy mix, a packet of ranch dressing mix, and then 8 to 10 pepperoncinis and some of the juice. Oh, some of the juice. That's really good. Although, Willie said the pepperoncinis are really spicy, so... Oh, and half cup of butter. He said they were really spicy, so... I just hope this meal doesn't become spicy, because the kids are going to be eating it, obviously. Um... But we'll see. So I'm going to go ahead and do the rest. Hey, I wish you could see yourself Just sitting there on my chair I'm staring at you You don't even notice Should have told you straight out my air fryer and some bread. I'm gonna go ahead and make up 
some little sandwiches with, um, I was going to do like this. I have like a different kind of pesto, some tomato and turkey. Okay, so it's a sun-dried tomato pesto and it kind of, it's really good. I just tried a little bit. So I'm really excited to put that on. So let's get this going over here. I don't want to make too much of a mess because I did just clean this. But I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna cut this end off and just eat that. Mmm, really good. Okay, so I think I'll do. Let's see. Maybe I'll do four pieces because these are like really small actually. And I decided I'm not gonna like. I know this is not low carb, but I don't think I'm gonna do low carb. I just I like bread. Okay. Of this tomato. Maybe I'll do two slices and just split them in half. Okay, there. Let me throw that away. There. Do that. Half and half. I think I'm going to try one of these pieces though cold um, so I can try it both ways and see what I like better. And I do like deli meat, turkey, but this is what I found. Is this good yet? I don't know. It's kind of it's kind of shaky. We're gonna use something else. And I have some medium cheddar, so we'll do that. Let's actually put it on first here. I should have put that on below everything. That's okay. So, here's this and some more turkey. Okay, so there's that. And we're going to give it a little, just one of them, a little shot. This stuff is really good. Get it right by the basil pesto. Mm-mm. Delicious. So I can only imagine it's gonna be amazing in the air fryer. So I'm just gonna actually spray this. this one in here and then I'll make the other two up. It gets so dusty. Um, oops, I just smudged that up. Okay, so we're gonna do... Oh my goodness, I really smudged this up. In the... Oops. Cancel. Uh, no, we're not doing that. We're gonna do... Which one actually? What do we do? Should we do? We'll just do fries and then. Yeah. We'll do that. And I'll just keep an eye on it. But I'll let you guys know when it comes out. Okay, so I didn't record me trying it because I was on the phone with my friend. Mmm. So good. So freaking good. I'm going to do that. She's not feeling so well. But I did end up putting them, the other two back in because the, I think the tomato could have been cooked a little longer. What's up, baby? Hi. Oh, I'm 
Hi, hi, boy. Did you wake up from your nap now? Did Addy wake you up? Did you hear her scream and wake you up? Are you going to come out here? <laughs> Everybody's awake. Okay, so I got in the rest of my Costco order. There's only a couple things. There's a pack of diapers. Um, size 5. I... So Blaine is potty trained during the day. Um, he does wear a diaper at nap time and at bedtime. Um, and I would like to kick at least the nap time diaper. I just get like uh, paranoid about it because he sleeps in my bed. Um, and I don't want him to pee <laughs> in my bed. So that's why I do that. Um, it, it, it's, it's a toss up because he, I, I don't know, he might be able to hold it at least for his nap. Um, but it's like when he has a diaper on, he knows he can pee in it. So that's like the thing, but then I don't want to test it either. So I don't even know if anyone has like nap and bedtime tips when it comes to potty training, please let me know. Leave them in the comments. Um, uh, I really haven't focused on that kind of, and on getting a potty trained at nighttime or nap time. I haven't really put any thought or effort into it because I haven't potty trained during the day. I'm like, Honestly, I'm happy with that. I If he is in diapers at nighttime for the next, like, three years, I am honestly I'm fine with it. It's not like we go, we go through two diapers a day. That's literally it. Um, ideally, I don't want him in diapers that long, of course. Um, well, he won't be. But, yeah, so that's that. And then I did also order a hoodie. Oh, my camera battery's going to die. Ugh. I swear, I do not keep up with it, do I? I'm always saying, oh, my camera's gonna die, or oh, my memory card is full. Let's see if I can get this out before it actually dies. So it is a pink Nike one. I'll just show you guys really quick. Oh, it's kind of big. I did get a large um, because I like an oversized hoodie. But this might be a little bigger than I would have liked. We'll see. I'll have to try that one on. Okay, so this is how the sweatshirt fits. And actually, the size is fine. It's nice, oversized, not too big. It, I swear I always think I'm smaller than I really am because when I looked at it, I was like, oh my gosh, this is huge. But this, I feel like, fits me perfect. So, it's all good. <laughs> okay, you guys. It has been... A day like oh and I forgot I forgot to switch my camera battery now just a second it's about to die okay so I did have to open an energy drink Alani new I did not want to drink one today because I had oh that's really bright um, a coffee drink this morning one of those Starbucks filled with sugar drinks um, you know like those cans so I was like I don't need an energy drink but I am so tired right now I am like exhausted. Um, I've had, honestly, I have had so much anxiety today. So I don't have any of the kids anymore. Well, I only had Addie today. But I just, I don't know. It's been a day. Um, I don't really know what's going on with the little boy yet. Like if I'm watching him tomorrow. I, I, and like I said, like I didn't even, um, I didn't really even know I wasn't watching him today, so I just, like, um, I don't know really what's going on with that, um, and I think the whole not knowing is kind of making me a little bit anxious. I don't really know why, <laughs> like, it's not that big of a deal. Um, oh, it's partially, too, because I want to make other plans if I'm not watching him, like, there's other things that I want to do, um, but it's okay. And then Addie, she, she just, her breathing, she has a cold, she did go to the doctor's, and she just, she's sick. She might have caught another cold or something. So, and I don't know. It's, there, and a lot of changing, changes happening in my future. Like, I swear, my life changes so drastically from month to month. Like, even, so I babysit this little boy and then I babysit my niece. And I babysit the boy until March. He goes back to Ohio in March. Um, 
and he goes back home to it's another state they live in in March and um so then I was gonna start watching another little girl and then another little boy my friend's son and and then the other one is we're more I guess another little boy and another little girl and my brother-in-law is getting a new job and his schedule is changing completely i'm going to be only watching addy two days one week three days the next two days one three days the next it's going to alternate and then the little girl that i'll be babysitting come march i'm her dad is going to be on the same because he works in the same place they're cousins they're going to be on the same exact schedule so it's going to be the same schedule with her so then the little boy that I was going to watch, I originally was going to watch him full time. Um, and then the mother-in-law was going to watch him one of the days of the week. And I'm just like, financially, it just, it wouldn't cut it for me. Like, I wouldn't be able to do it financially. Because if I'm watching him full time, I'm not making enough money on one kid. And I, I don't want to get more kids because then like the days that I have the other two, it's going to be, I don't know. So, <laughs> oh, I, I just want to know what's going on. But it's like, and like I told her, the little boy's mom, I, I said, you know, honestly, things have been, so she might find a different sitter um, because she just she's looking for someone more full time um so i i don't know i don't know what's going on and then i figured that the days that i didn't babysit and this is all going to be in march by the way the days that i didn't babysit i could go clean if that's a possibility or you know what i could focus more on reselling those days and like do a lot of photos and listings because i can't get stuff like that done right now with babysitting because now that the kids are like on the go oh my gosh they are on the go it's like it's really hard to get out other things done so maybe it would be good to have those days to put more emphasis again on my reselling and you know work that back build that back up and I've been saying that for months that I want to build it back up and I kind of started and then I dropped dropped the ball again so yeah, and then also come next week, I'm only going to be watching Killian three days a week. Same amount, same amount of hours, but just less days. Because instead of two half days, it's going to be three full days. Um, so it's going to be Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And then Addie will be, again, like I said, the two days, one week, three days. So the nice thing about that, though, too. So I'll, only have, I'll have one day off completely a week of all the kids. And then only two only two one or two days each week I'll have both the babies so then the other days I'll just have one and it'll feel really easy actually because I'm used to having both of them so on days that I just have one it's gonna feel like a truly a piece of cake so anyways that was really long um so I'm gonna sit here I'm gonna get some work done I haven't done anything today it is 310 I wouldn't say I haven't done anything but there's a lot of things that I wanted to get done that I did not get done. Um, Addie was very um, cranky today. She's not feeling well. So that took a lot of... So I just, you know, that when a baby's not feeling well. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to try to get some work done. Um, dinner, by the way, smells so good. I'm just hoping it's not spicy when it comes out. Because when I open it and smell it, it like I can smell the spiciness, I feel like, of like the pepperoncinis. But maybe it won't taste spicy. I don't know. I guess we'll see. So, Okay, so I am going to go ahead and take out the pepperoncinis and um, shred the chicken. It's 5 o'clock. So I'm going to make some mashed potatoes. Sorry, this land from upstairs. And some green beans I thought would go with good with this meal I'm debating on if doing one or two packs of these but I don't really think I'm gonna eat potatoes um should I do two maybe I should do two because these aren't that big um hmm the struggle is real I might actually do two because these are cheap so if they don't get eaten I guess it is what it is yeah let's just do two to be honest 
Mm, I don't know though. I just don't know how much the boys are going to eat, like how much they're going to like, if you know what I mean. Um, but then I'll have... We're just going to stick with one right now. <laughs> but I've got to boil two cups of water, so I actually might just microwave. No. No, I'm going to do it in the pot. So, I just need two cups of water. Go ahead and boil that. I'll just let it dry since I didn't use it for anything but water. Um, so I'm gonna boil the water and then I'm gonna go ahead and take out ooh, um, the pepperoncinis and then shred that chicken up quick. I love that the new with the new microwave here, there is like so much room in that counter. Oh, my sister's calling. Okay, so she was just calling me to update on Addie, and Addie took a really good nap for her. And I figured she was just really tired, but she doesn't sleep very well here. And I think that's because, um, let's get this camera facing me. Um, I think that's because, there, like, a lot of light shines in on the bedroom. And at home, it's, like, pitch black in her room. Well, not pitch black, but it's pretty dark in there. Um, and she doesn't, ha it's not like that here in any of the rooms, so... But yeah, so we're just shredding up this chicken. I did take out the pepperoncinis. Um, the water is actually just about boiling, so let me go ahead and put in the microwave. This goes in for, uh, four and a half minutes. So I'll do four minutes. And I love this new microwave because it's so quiet compared to our other one. Right? Yeah, like this thing is so quiet. Our other one was like so freaking loud. Okay, so I'm just gonna do a quick little taste test of the meat. Mmm, that's really good. I don't want the kids to hear, but it has a little bit of a bite to it. <laughs> a little bit. Not a lot, just a little bit. Um, let me take one more piece. We'll see. We'll see what they say. But it's a really good flavor. Super good flavor, actually. Okay, so that was actually really good, freaking good. Um, it did have a bit of a zing to it. The boys didn't say anything, but I'm pretty sure they, like, Jack and I asked for more and I didn't give them that much, so I don't think he really liked it. I think it might have been, it's not that spicy, though. I feel like sometimes people just need to, like, I don't know, but... I need a boy to sit down and eat his food. He's playing around, um, but it was really good. I will definitely probably be making that again. I think, I don't think I'd add the pepperoncinis though the next time just to maybe tame down the spice or, excuse me, or I could just add like half of the, the pepperoncini sauce and then half water or something. I think that would help out a lot. Um, but flavor was excellent. It really was, so. Just waiting on Willie to get home. I made him up a plate, put in the microwave, and then I'm gonna like finish cleaning up dinner and then go get some more work done. And that's really gonna be the end of this vlog. So. <laughs> I wish I could make you stay Cause baby I love you Why you tryna break us up When I'm tryna build it up I wish I could make you stop